I'm sharing 10 cheap ways to make your home look expensive. The first one is lighting. Lighting is the jewelry of the room. You can find beautiful chandeliers that really make an impact. Plus, adding light to a room brightens up the space and makes it feel so much larger. You can incorporate decorative fixtures in so many different ways. Of course, we've got our hanging lights, the chandeliers. Those are the showstoppers of the room. You can find lighting for so cheap. You can look on Amazon, you can look on Walmart website, you can look on Facebook Marketplace. All kinds of places have beautiful lighting for an affordable cost. I also have wall sconces in my living room and I absolutely love these. These are a nice soft light that brings a glow from the side. These instantly make this room look more upscale and refined. You can add layers of light too, meaning you've got, of course, your chandeliers or your light fixtures coming from above, but you can also use task lighting in the form of lamps. I purchased these lamps at Home Goods. They were really affordable. Home Goods has great prices on lamps and they have such a huge variety. So hit up Ross or Home Goods or those places to find some beautiful lamps for an affordable price. Another tip for lighting is I have a few of mine on dimmers and it's so fun to be able to up the lighting, but dim it at night, add a special ambiance to your room. Dimming these lights can create a cozy, luxurious atmosphere in any room. So by simply switching out some of the lighting in your home or adding more lighting, you can enhance the atmosphere of your home. Next is to add some beautiful textiles to your space. I love drapes. Beautiful drapes can just add a soft, cozy, elegant feel to the room. I love the textures. These drapes right here are velvet, but I also have some linen drapes in my house and the textures in each of the rooms soften the windows. You can also use different patterns or vibrant colors to create a custom look. Additionally, by adding heavier custom drapes to space, it makes it feel elegant and polished and very cozy. Another textile are pillows. I love pillows. I have them all over my house. I love the way they make a room feel. I have a whole bunch of pillows right here on my bed. I add them every single morning and they just give this room a cozy feel. Pillows add texture and depth to the overall look of a room, creating an expensive visual feel. Pillows can be used to introduce color or a pattern. You can switch them out from different seasons or holidays. Maybe you're feeling like you wanna use a vibrant color one day or a more muted color the next. The way that you can keep pillows affordable is you don't need to buy a different pillow every single time. You can buy pillow coverings and just use the same pillow and switch them out with the pillow coverings. That is a great way to save money. I find some of the best pillows at Home Goods. They have a huge variety and they're very affordable. So you can go to Home Goods, you can go to Ross, you can go to any home decor store and they're gonna have a variety of pillows for you to choose from at an affordable price. Some other textiles that you can add to a room to make it feel more luxurious are rugs, in your bathroom, you can get some really soft, luxurious towels. These pieces can make your home look like a million bucks. The next way that we can make our home look expensive on a budget is with a fireplace. You might be wondering, how can I afford that? Well, I thought the same thing. I was like, I'm not gonna put a fireplace in my bedroom. It's way too expensive, but guess what? We did it and we did it on a budget. Now, a fireplace in a home just changes the atmosphere. It makes it feel so warm and cozy, and the mantles just make everything look so elegant and beautiful. So how do we make it affordable? Well, I am using an electric insert that I got from Costway. This is an affordable way to get a fireplace in a specific area in your home because you don't have to do anything but attach it to the wall and plug it in. 
So what I'm gonna do with mine, instead of just putting it on the wall, which you can do, is I'm going to make a fireplace mantle. So I started off by hitting up Lowe's. I went there and I got all the lumber that I needed. I got my two by fours and I got a whole bunch of trim because I wanted this to look sleek, elegant, and beautiful. Brought everything home and I just got shopping. I got my miter saw out and I started cutting everything down to size. I would say that the hardest part about making this was the actual design of it. You can see all of my like, hand-drawn pictures with all my measurements on it. So yeah, so you've got to do some math, but beyond that, it's really easy to do. After I had my frame built, I got some wood paneling and I put it around the fireplace frame. And now it's time for the pretty part. I got my trim and I cut all the pieces that I needed to put on my fireplace. Once all those pieces were cut, I busted out my nail gun and I attached everything together. Now that my fireplace is created, I need to caulk it and fill in all of those nail holes. Once it was done, I gave it one final wash. And then I took it out to my garage where I had created a makeshift paint shop with a whole bunch of tarps. Now I'm going to be painting my fireplace mantle with some bare polar bear paint. And I get the cabinet grade because I like how it gives us good coverage, but it is also great for being able to wipe it down later because it's used for cabinets. I sprayed my fireplace mantle and I did four coats. I wanted to make sure that everything was sufficiently coated in this paint. I want it to look professional and by using a paint sprayer, I always get a professional look. Once I was finished with my fourth coat of paint, I let it dry overnight. Now it's time to bring my fireplace mantle into my bedroom. Now you guys, I built this thing but I built it on the ground and I had my boys take it out to the garage and now it weighs like <laughs> this thing weighs probably close to 200 pounds so I had to enlist the help of my husband and my twins to bring it back into the room because it was too heavy for me to carry. Now it's time to add my electric insert to my fireplace. This was so easy. I unboxed it from the packaging that I came in, it was packaged beautifully. And all I needed to do was remove a few screws to take off the front glass plate. And then I pushed the fireplace into the fireplace mantle. It slid right in, so I'm pretty proud of my measurements because it went right in, it was nice and snug. And then all I needed to do was take some screws that were provided and screw this electric insert into my fireplace mantle. After I was done screwing it into place, I got these glass beads that came with the fireplace and I put them in the little grooves that were right in the front. And now all I need to do is take that glass front and put it back on these little hooks that were on the front of the fireplace insert. I cannot even tell you how much I love this fireplace in this room. It is so pretty and it gives off a beautiful warm glow to this space. This electric fireplace has all kinds of settings on it. I can change it from white to green to blue, all kinds of colors. You also have the option to use the heating element that's on this. Now I live in Florida and so I don't always need the heating element on there, but it's nice to be able to have that option because sometimes I just want the look of a cozy warm fireplace without the heat that comes along with turning your fireplace on. By using an electric fireplace insert, I was able to save myself so much money because I didn't have to have any special electrical done and they're really easy to maintain. So I'm not gonna have to spend a lot of time paying for somebody to come clean out my chimney flue or anything like that. Another thing that I love about an electric fireplace is that you can put it virtually anywhere in your home. So you can put it in your family room if you don't have one. You can put it in your dining room, your bedroom. All you need is access to an electrical outlet. 
This fireplace is now the centerpiece of my bedroom. I absolutely love it. And I'm so happy that I was able to do it for an affordable price. I'll leave a link to Costway in my description box so you can see the exact fireplace insert that I used as well as a variety of other cost efficient fireplaces that you can use in your own home. And another way that you can save money is by using this 15% off coupon that I will be putting in my description box as well. It's good for 15% off site-wide. Neutral wall colors like a gray or a beige or a white are a beautiful way to make your home look and feel expensive. The light colors on the walls can make your space actually feel larger than it is. And since neutral colors provide a modern and calming atmosphere, they can add sophistication to your home and make it appear more expensive. Paint is also so affordable and anyone can paint. And if you don't feel like you can, have a paint party, have your friends over, have your family over, have some rollers for them. You'll have your home or a room painted in a jiffy. Another thing that you can add to your walls to make it feel luxurious is some wallpaper. You can find some wallpaper that's really affordable on Amazon. You can find wallpaper that has texture on it, which adds a luxurious feel to a room. Bringing in plants or flowers into your home is an immediate way to make it look more expensive. And flowers and plants are not that expensive, especially if you get artificial ones like I do. I do not have a green thumb. That's one thing about me, I, I just can't keep anything alive. So I definitely opt for my beautiful faux florals. I make flower arrangements and I have them all over my home. I get my flowers at Michael's or at home. Hobby Lobby has very affordable ones and you can get them on sale. I hardly ever buy my flowers without using a coupon or having it be 50% off that specific week. So you can get flowers or plants or any kind of greenery on sale for an affordable price. And I love the way that it makes my rooms feel. You can get more streamlined flowers like orchids that make your room look luxurious and expensive. But in reality, you really didn't spend that much on the actual stem of the flower to create it. Also, the containers that I put my flowers in are usually from the thrift store or I recycled it from another project. I typically go for the neutral flower arrangement, but it is fun to switch it up for the different seasons and holidays. You can use some amber colors in the fall, some red poinsettias at Christmas, some springtime pastels, or some bright summer flowers, and you can do it very affordably. Next, let's talk about artwork and mirrors. I have mirrors all over my home. I love the way that they reflect light back into the room. I love the way that they make the room feel bigger. I love that they reflect things that are on the opposite wall or the chandeliers that are up above. Large mirrors can make a statement. I have two very large mirrors here in my bedroom that are right above the nightstands and they make this room feel so grand. The majority of the mirrors that I have in my home, I purchased at my thrift store. They were not in the best condition, but I saw that they had potential. I didn't spend more than $50 on any of the mirrors that I purchased at my thrift store. You can find beautiful mirrors at your thrift store. Look on Facebook Marketplace. You can go to some garage sales. There's a lot of places that you can look to find some mirrors at an affordable price. Now, I also wanna talk about artwork. I think artwork can make or break a space as well. Artwork can make your home look expensive because it adds character and personality to a space. Artwork can be used to show off the homeowner style, to create focal points and make statements in the room. Art enhances the look of any space. It also can add richness and texture to a room. It can also increase the perceived value of a home as it suggests elegance, sophistication, and class. Next, let's talk about home accessories. Home accessories can make your home look so elegant without breaking the bank. You can go to Ross, Home Goods, all kinds of other 
home decor stores and find some beautiful home accessories and display them in your home. I love using candles and books, small sculptures, beautiful vases, ginger jar. Do you guys know I love a ginger jar? I have them all over my house. All of these small details can make your home look expensive and put together without costing too much money. Another way to easily upgrade the look of your home is by switching out the hardware on your cabinets. Hardware can really date a home, but by switching it out with affordable pieces, you can instantly make your home look more modern, classy, and updated. You can get specialty knobs or poles for a very affordable price. I love these Lucite poles that I have in my kitchen. I purchased them on Amazon. They were very affordable. They add a streamlined, classy feel to my kitchen. As we know, design trends and your personal taste changes, I would say pretty frequently. I know mine does. So in order to keep up with the trends or your specific changing styles, this is an easy way to do it because you're not fully committed to painting something or doing a renovation. All you're doing is adding some beautiful jewelry to your cabinets that make it look like you have a style, make it look like you've done this intentionally Switching out your knobs is a very cost efficient way to update your space. Another way to make your home look expensive is by adding a natural stone. Now you might think, how am I going to add a natural stone to my space? It's really expensive to put in a backsplash or to change out your flooring or, you know, etc. So how I bring stone into a space is with these marble tiles that I buy at Lowe's. They're $10 a tile. They're so pretty and I put them on top of my nightstands. You can put them on top of your side tables, on top of a buffet. It immediately elevates the look of these pieces because you've added a high-end material to your nightstand. And it also gives these pieces a classic timeless look. It also comes in a variety of colors and designs that will match any decor style. Marble lasts a long time and it doesn't need to be switched out very often. It's hard, it's scratch resistant. It's a very practical and cost effective choice to make your home feel luxurious. The easiest and most affordable way to make your home look luxurious is by decluttering. A tidy home will always look more luxurious than a cluttered one. Do you ever walk into a home and it's clean and tidy and it just feels good, doesn't it? It doesn't have to be a huge home, it can be a small home. But if it's clean, it has an elegant feel to it. So declutter and reorganize, get out all those things that you don't need in your home anymore. This can help your home look more put together and elegant. Hopefully one of these 10 tips will help you on your quest to make your home feel more luxurious on a budget. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure that you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching.